Danielle, welcome. Uh, can you? Hi. Oh, there you go. Can you please introduce yourself with your name and outlet, and you may begin. Danielle Salzman, Salzy at the movies. It's uh, so nice to meet you. How are you doing? Um. Well, how are you? I'm doing well. How did you decide that you were ready to uh, direct a uh, feature film and what led you to reimagine uh, Carmen for the uh, big screen in particular? Oof, I don't know if I decided. I think it's more like uh, everything that I've done in my life out of uh, deep, deep personal desire, you know, um, and then you sort of run with it and face it and learn from it and learn why you're so enamored with this you know why you have this need inside you and i it's just the journey of, of my journey as a just as an artist who's created dances who are very significant to moments of time in my life and i think it's the same with the movie i think the movies will always be really personal if i have the opportunity to make more and carmen uh carmen i grew up with the opera it spoke to me and it's you know it makes sense with my own life that i was driven to travel from France to living in Africa to moving to the U.S., uh, driven by my desire to be to dance, to be to be free, to be whoever I wanted, um, and I was so fascinated with this character um, of this larger-than-life woman. I think it's also like maybe my own relationship to women. You know, I mean, like, I, 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 I thought that the the opera portrayed this 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 woman who was a fantasy of what men think a woman is uh an object of desire with you know sort of all these like beauty and you know but wasn't someone who could love or be loved uh and she's not really it's a love out of kind of sexual passion that doesn't last there's very little truly human in the opera and She's a woman that men are afraid of. She's a woman that men are afraid of, and they mur she gets murdered at the end of the opera. So I wanted to make Carmen Newman, and um, I really wanted to um, make her someone who could have an experience with a man that was unlike anything she'd met before. I mean, you have first you have these men that are after her to abduct her, and then you have this child who points a gun to her because that's that's what he's seen, that's what he knows from what men do to women. Um, so it was it was important for me to. To, to really recreate it um, in that that way and um, and in a way just yeah just explore explore that those, those qualities and 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 on the in the film and what was it like uh, getting to uh, direct this cast I mean pretty awesome I <laughs> they were so um, they were so outstanding I mean and so creative um, that um, that I really, um, I, 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 I really was inspired by them, and I, and I took every single good idea uh, that they had, you know, um, in the, in, in, you know, throughout the process. I mean, they were, they were just outstanding. Yeah, I mean, Paul's having quite the year. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I mean listen, I, I'm, I'm so glad for them. You know, I picked them because they were right for the roles at the right time. I was so lucky. Um, and I'm not surprised because they are they're they were so wonderful to work with and so talented that I'm I'm not surprised to see that they're both thriving. And what was it like uh, getting to collaborate with Nicholas Patel? I love the score. I think it's one of the best scoring years. I I had a, a dream of a collaboration. We just exchanged ideas and music and and it, and it really it really was a, th a thrill, you know, a thrill to to work with him and to see the to hear the final product because I think it's a score that will stay, you know, that will accompany this film forever and and that hopefully people will go back to to listen to because it's it was also a very I think a way to free the composer and let the music be what it need what it needed to be without cutting and pasting it and and just making it a character that was part of bringing tension and emotion to the film. And what was the uh, most challenging aspect of the uh, production? Well, every day there's challenging aspects when you're making a film. And I would say that, you know, you're running against the clock and 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 spending money. <laughs> and so you really, 
you have to be pragmatic and it's kind of great actually because you, you it pushes you to be more creative and know what exactly you want what essential emotion what you know what can you strip to just actually tell your story in the most essential way so i i, I didn't mind at all the constraints of production and the challenges of production i i i loved everything about making the film and in being mentored by uh, Jerome Robbins, what were some of the biggest lessons that you've uh, learned from him? Well, I think the biggest lesson is just as a dancer, which is is that he was interested in who you were and how that your personality would translate on stage. He was interested in nothing but you expressing yourself through his movement. He had a respect and an admiration for his dancers, and he just wanted this you know, it, it was you he was interested in and he, it's you he wanted to see and, and how you had this quiet kind of confidence of knowing who you were and how you expressed yourself with other people on stage. So there's, it's realism, you know, it's realism and it's, it's realism in the, in the film today, I think where you have the fight scene around the box boxing, which is, you know, you, you, you just to, to, to have, to have a sense of, how real people should be and how real the dancing should be and how it shouldn't um it should have the brutality in that fight scene that that that's enough to surround the the boxing and not seem ridiculous you know to make people dance around a boxing ring is a challenge you know <laughs> um so that that's that's jerry you know, it, it gave me a sense of, uh, of 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 respect respect for human beings, actually, which is funny because people say he was very difficult to work with, but he had profound respect for human beings, and that that's what that's what he was interested in, in seeing seeing people through the through the dance. And how would you say that your choreography uh, background has influenced uh, the way you uh, direct it's uh, everything? Movies? It's everything. I mean, it's it's staging a scene, moving people in space, moving the camera in coordination, knowing to, to not move the camera and let the bodies express themselves on screen without the camera movement, like making those decisions. Everything about choreography, if you have a sense of movement for a camera or framing, becomes natural. I mean, you know, some to me, some of the great directors are choreographers. I was just talking about the opening of 2001 Space Odyssey as one of the great pieces of choreography. I mean, and it's just is just visual language and movement to music and it's outstanding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. And how challenging was it to uh, recreate Los Angeles in Australia? Um, you know, um, hold on one second. Ugh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. It was, uh, it was, it was, it was, it was not challenging. It was, um, it was an opportunity. We actually had more days because of the tax break um, that we had there. And um, uh, so I actually had not only a great tax break, but I had unbelievable talent to work on the film. Um, and, uh, and, and, and because of the dream quality um, of the film, it worked. You know, I could actually push that element even further and it played to the film's advantage, I think. And how thrilling was it to be uh, selected for uh, Toronto uh, this past year? Oh, it was a thrill. I mean, every, you know, that the film is distributed, it's coming out, people are going to see it and it'll be on Netflix is, is, um, is, is a thrill. All of it is a thrill. You know, it's, it's such an unbelievable opportunity that I had the trust of, of financiers and producers to put this out there into the world. And so I feel, I feel really, really fortunate. What do you hope uh, people take away from uh, watching the movie? I think an experience that uh, that that brings uh, you know elements of of narrative that that uh, that makes them think about love and freedom and and men and women and immigration and 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 I think those are the themes of the film um, and you know uh, letting someone. Um, be free and 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 celebrating that freedom. You know, and 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 kindness and those elements of of just beauty that that accompany the story. Thank you again. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye.